Right, another video. I'll just type in the Danish girl in the thing, and this image came up. Right, and then um, the photo was too good not to put into a video. Like, you can see what's going on, you know, what that's, what this image is all about. I don't know who it is, right? But you can see here, right, the seven there in the background, and doing the seven with her fingers or his fingers, whatever, right. So we can see what it's all about, right? <clears throat> and there's a lot of, lot of you know, similar pictures that come up at the side of it. Yeah, this one here, like. <coughs> I don't know who these people are, like, but I, you know, I type in the Danish girl, and this is what you get. I am. Um, don't really see it now, but who they are now. You can tell what they are, like, I need to know it. Quite a lot of tea being drunk here, like, isn't it? Need to have a bit. Yeah. Well, this one goes by the name of Miss Craig McCartney. Right? Yeah. Worked out one in. This is Miss Craig McCartney. And this one is Book Astor. And it says the women of Alzheimer's. Book Astor. So, yeah. Book Astor, Nee Russell. And son of John Jacob. John Jacob Astor. Yeah. Who died August 13th from pneumonia, 105 years old. Funeral held at St. Thomas Church, Manhattan. It looks like quite a bit of tea was drunk when Brew Gastor was alive. Quite a bit of tea drunk. You don't have it. You don't have it whatsoever, like, is it? That's a young Brooke Astor. So like the tea, the Astor. People like the tea. And he has Vincent Astor. With his fur coat on. There's a teapot poets. So obviously love the tea. He has the Astor family mansions. Quite a few mansions, eh? Like. And these are the ones that they call elite. Yeah, and you often find shells using this term, elite. Obviously, it's a T, like a term. The L is the the god and the uh, the drinking, the elixir type of thing. Right? So when you often have the shells referring to the elite now, let's see. So this is who they're referring to. Trying to say that these people are like extra special or something. When basically, you know, they take just tea drinkers. That's the, the special thing about them is that they're tea drinkers. Lots of money in that, but, you know. And 
lots of big mansions and all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Lots of stories about how to go a brook and stuff. Yeah. A story say about how they grew up and down in fortunes and, and etc. Of course, it's, you know, it's all rubbish, really, because the, um, the money is just used for the aim, um, you know, as part of the hex, isn't it? The money isn't really the wealth, the wealth is in the sort of uh, influence in the aim, um, you know, being on the inside of that type of uh, network and that. And obviously having the properties, the uh, the mansions and the that's real wealth, you see. But the sort of money idea is not um it's not real wealth, is it? It's like uh, it's like a false wealth, it's a like a fake idea, you see. <coughs> and if you put in Osteroth, right? You get these type of strange images about him. Um, yeah, they live in Fifth Avenue as well. The Astor Pierce is on the Fifth Avenue, right? And you've got this type of thing, which is the five pointed star of Astaroth, right? So they created this idea about um, demons, see, like, which ties in a bit with the elite idea. These elite families, like, you know, like you get a lot of shills talking about how that in league with the devil and all this type of thing, see? Um, which of course is just nonsense, basically, it's uh, created by them, see? And as we see here, read, um, the Disney film bed knobs and broomsticks, right? So that's like the bed chamber, isn't it? The, so the chamberlains of the bed chamber, well, now what all that's about, right? And then they're named in the 1976 Hammer Horror film, The Devil, The Daughter, right? And so it's the, you know, it's all fiction, isn't it? It's not. Um, and there's the Ars Guretia, which was written by King James, right? King James the Bible, and the King James is the Ars Guretia, I think it is anyway. Or the demonology here, uh, King James done, definitely. I think the Ars Guretia is to do with that, right? So your Astaroth is the 29th spirit. So all this stuff is basically made up, you know, like the Duke of Hell, see. This is stuff which they, they have made up, you see, to, to create this sort of, um, the ghost ideas and the spook ideas and all that, thing. Um, Star of Astaroth. And then you've got your uh, stuff here about Mesopotamian goddess, right? So again, again, you know, this is made up, and Mesopotamia is, uh, you know, Mes Mesopotamia, isn't it? As in, you know what? Um, it's one of the main images to do with this Astaroth idea, right? Um, as you can see, the snake is forming the same as a dollar symbol. Because obviously these people are all involved in all that type of thing, banking and all that, finance and what have you. There's a seven. A couple of sevens coded in it, as there obviously there would be in that way. Seven's coded all that way, triple seven there with that one. And then, um, so you associate with a five pointed star, right? and there, uh, watch them ones I've done about the, the, the Baphomet idea and all that. See, the five points is about, you know, like this point, point going down, it's about uh, 
pointing directions for people, for naturals. You know, eh. <coughs> pointing people towards the here, you know, bad things and that. So that sort of, that sort of, yeah. Here's an example of that type of thing, see? Pointing directions and that. So there you go, see, the Fifth Avenue Mansion, see, so a fifth and sixty-fifth to so eleven. John Jacob Astor, <coughs> Gilded Edge Society, and then he's tied in with the Titanic hex. I suppose he died on the Titanic. Which was a Titanic hex. And again, associated with the ice ideas in that Titanic, see, the associated with the, the boat, supposedly hit an iceberg, right? So the ice is always to do with the death and the air, um, the natural people and all that, see. So it's a hex for the air. Uh, the naturals using the ice metaphor yet again, see, the ice. And also sort of seeing my uh, videos on the moon to tie in with that because the, the moon is basically made of ice. So uh, fifth avenue. And that transpire. The good word like in it for them. Transpire. And then you also have this one, right? Castor. So uh, um, a pair of demigods and the two collectible known as the Dioscuri. Twins feature in a number of Jason, Jason the Mason. So there we go, Jason, Janus and the Mason. And the die, of course, is always the duality, isn't it? Castor and Pollux. Polyduces. A bit of tea juice. So the gods, see, the gods idea. Yeah. <coughs> It's to deal with these um, bloodlines or families, you see, the gods. There's Gemini James, again, uh, the twin, duality. So all ties in together. And of course, um, the T. Teachings to heart. Yeah. And then this one, the Venus Castina. Yeah. Castina, chest. Chest. Right, the chastity belt, my lads, eh? The chastity belt. You know what that's for, so you know, you know, what it's all about. 